Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a new EC2 instance using Ansible and Jenkins. So let's look at this use case. If you look at this diagram, what we are actually going to do is we are going to provision a new EC2 instance using Jenkins pipeline, which is going to invoke an Ansible playbook. Okay, that's exactly what we are going to do. So basically, we are going to automate the infrastructure setup using Jenkins and Ansible playbook. So if you look at this diagram, so we have created several playbooks in my GitHub repository. So this is my GitHub repository where we have several playbooks, but we will be picking up this particular playbook uh, in order to provision a new EC2 instance using Jenkins pipeline. So I will come back to this playbook in a minute. And then we will be creating a, a Jenkins pipeline. I have already provisioned a Jenkins instance which is running in AWS cloud, okay? And then the Jenkins also needs to have Ansible installed. So if you look at here, this is my Jenkins EC2 instance. So this is the Ansible version what I have, okay? And then I also have installed Boto framework as well, okay? So you also need to install Boto framework so that Ansible can use uh, this Boto framework in order to integrate with AWS clouds, perfect. And then we will be, uh, you know, creating a Jenkins pipeline that is going to invoke this Ansible playbook in order to uh, provision a new EC2 instance in AWS cloud. That's exactly what we are going to do in this short video. Awesome. So if you look at the prerequisites, like I explained to you, uh, we already have Ansible set up on the Jenkins machine, and we also need to install Ansible plugin in Jenkins. I have already installed this Ansible plugin. So if you go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins, uh, I have already installed. So I'm going to click on the install plugins tab and then look at this one. So I have already installed this particular plugin. We also need to create an IAM role with this particular policy and we have to attach this policy. Uh, sorry, we have to attach this IAM role to the Jenkins EC2 instance because Jenkins will be using this IAM role for provisioning a new EC2 instance using Ansible playbook, okay? And then of course, we need to have a playbook created, like I mentioned, uh, so this is my GitHub repository. Uh, so where, you know, we have several playbooks, but we will be using this particular playbook for provisioning new EC2 instance. So if you look at this playbook, uh, again, very simple playbook. Um, I have declared uh, the list of variables over here. Uh, my SSH key, what kind of instance type I want to, uh, you know, create. And then this is a AMI ID. Uh, this is nothing but Ubuntu AMI. And my region code and everything. So I have declared everything as uh, variables, which I will be uh, referring in my task, right? So basically we have three different tasks. This is for uh, creating a security group with all the inbound rules and as well as uh, the egress as well. Um, that's the first task. So first task is to create a security group with this all these firewall rules. And then the second task is to launch a EC2 instance with all the information what we have declared here. And then finally, we would like to add a tagging, right? So we would add this name as a tag for the EC2 instance, what we are going to provision using Jenkins, play, Jenkins uh, pipeline. That's it, right? Awesome, so let's get started. So all we have to do is, since we also have the playbook created, we already uh, install Ansible as well as Ansible pipeline, I mean Ansible plugin on the on the Jenkins. All we have to do is, you know, go ahead and then create the Jenkins pipeline. And then we just have to go ahead and then execute it, okay? All right, so let's start creating the pipeline. So let me go into Jenkins and uh, create a new item. So I'm going to say my Ansible pipeline job, click on pipeline, say okay, and go to pipeline section. So let's select hello world pipeline because this is going to give us a basic structure. Okay, and uh, we have to check out a uh, code from here. And uh, this is already a public repository, okay? So we can simply go ahead and then check that out. So let me modify the stage and uh, I'm going to use the pipeline syntax. I'm going to use the snippet generator in order to generate the pipeline code 
in order to check out from github and uh, that is the repo url and like i said you don't have to provide the password because this is a public repository and uh, the branch name is master so that's fine let's generate the pipeline script perfect let's copy this and then paste that over here so this should check out from github let me save it click on build now i just want to make sure everything is looking good before we move on to next stage okay perfect so we were able to uh, check out code from uh, github and then the next stage is we just have to go ahead and then you know execute the playbook so i'm going to say execute playbook and uh, steps and this is where we are going to uh, execute our ansible playbook so let's go back to our sample code here so if you see here um i just want to let you know whenever you are using ansible um in order to uh, you know provision uh, any infrastructure in aws cloud especially on uh, ubuntu ec2 instance sometimes you may get some warnings so we would like to suppress this warnings so for that you can go ahead and then execute this particular python based package so you, we just have to upgrade this okay so i'm going to copy these two lines and then put that in my code this is just to suppress warnings you don't have to do it um but you know otherwise you know it's going to show you like a lot of warnings so we just want to override that we just want to avoid that okay and then uh, the next thing is to execute the playbook okay so how do you do that it's very simple okay so we are going to uh, i mean there are several ways you can uh, generate the code you can go to snippet generator and then look for ansible there you go look at here so if you want to uh, invoke any playbook you can feed in all the information you need and then you, you can just click on generate pipeline script so this is going to give you all the options right uh, but i just want to keep my uh, pipeline code very simple um, so of course if you want to mention the playbook name uh, where is that playbook file path uh, let me see i think this is where we have to do it i think we can just give because we are checking out code and it is in the root of the directory so i think you can just directly mention like this and then boom there you go that's it i think that's all i think that's what i also have over here there you go you look at here right so that's how we're going to ex execute so you can or you can just copy this code what's the big deal so this is how we are going to execute the playbook ansible playbook and then playbook colon and then mention the playbook name okay so that's our playbook perfect so apply save go ahead and click on build now but before that let's make sure that uh, this jenkins instance has a proper iam role attached so go to security look at this role so i have already attached this iam role let's click on this iam role just to make sure that we have right policy so this policy is really important but i also have a s3 bucket policy as well but let's say you are uh, you know let's say if you want to create s3 bucket using ansible playbook then this role is needed but this is fine and this is what you need actually amazon ec2 full access perfect so the jenkins ec2 instance has the right iam role so let's go ahead and then execute the playbook click on build now so right now it is in the process of wow look at that it it already installed or uh, upgraded this request package and right now it is in the process of executing the playbook this might take uh, maybe 15 20 seconds depending on your ec2 instance your jenkins ec2 instance uh cpu um you know type right 
okay so this has completed there you go so you can check the logs here okay so we were able to um, create the security group launch the ec2 instance and then finally all the information is here right perfect so now if i go into aws console if i click on refresh wow there you go you see here so right now it is in the process of initializing and uh, remember this was the tag name what we have added in the playbook the playbook right this was the tag name and uh, these are the port numbers we have opened up and uh, this is the security group name ec2 security group and you can definitely see that over here if you go to security there you go look at that so that's a security group name and these are the port numbers what we have uh, opened for that uh, new ec2 instance so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you would uh, uh, provision a new ec2 instance using jenkins and ansible playbook thank you for watching this